we uh, at Bacasa today and uh, yeah, we're going for some coins. We're a bit slow this morning, but uh, at the moment, yeah, the structure we're fishing is uh, okay. As you can see, there's a big, big bank in the back, it's a rocky bank, like a big reef in the back, so it makes it a lot of white water and then it will wash into a hole. It's like a big U shaped gutter almost. Now, uh, sometimes there's a bit of sand in there, if the sand washes out and the rocks are exposed, it's a really good Halloween spot, and then. So you have the rocks in the back, you have the gutter, and then here in the front you have another little sandbank. On the right you've got a bit of a bit of kelp and a bit of scattered roots. So it's a very, very nice little spot for the khali, especially in the stronger water also. Uh, nice little spot, always have a bit of white water rolling and uh, yeah, no, generally you get a bit of fish here, so I'll see what happens today. Now when the Khalyun season opens on the 1st of March, it brings a lot of excitement and a lot of edible anglers in the Western Cape especially. Rian Rademeyer didn't let wait on him and made his way to Makassar on the 1st of March to get his first Khalyun for the season. That's a bit of a way down, eh? That's a nice fish. It's standing close to a rock. I know it's close, but I can't find him, so it's supposed to be a bit shallower. <laughs> Circle comes in like a beautiful. Yeah, put him in the water, the puppy gets to a couple of nice touch. Fish, huh? Beautiful fish. Stunning, stunning fish. Look at that. Probably my favorite fish to catch. They are just beautiful. And when they start getting getting fat in winter, you see the stomach will start fattening up as well. You get the bump on the head there. So yeah. And when you keep them in this bucket, they really they can stay here for a long time. So you can let the fish calm down a bit. We're gonna release him, take your pictures with him. Stunning, stunning fish. They are really special. Uh, there you go guys, first khali of the season, beautiful fish, really really chuffed with this one, we worked hard for this fish, so yeah, it's about 36.5, 37 centimeters, so I think we'll probably release this one as well, see if it's the first one this season, stunning fish, huh? Yeah, you can keep him in the bucket for quite a long time so he can relax and just chill and yeah, after that you can release him.
same size as the other one. This fish is really strong. <laughs> huh? Loving that rod. Loving it. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, second khali of the day, really really happy with this fish. It was a lot stronger than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it stuck probably about 10 times eventually, uh, yeah, got him out. So, so it's about the same size as the other one, probably about 36, 37 centimeters as well. Look at the stunning fish, huh? Beautiful. And uh, when you handle the khalis as well, just be aware of two things. They've got that bad boys over there, that will give you proper hiding. And of course that serrated gill plate there. If you grab him like that and he shakes his head, it's going to give you a, a good hiding. That will slice you open. Now guys, there's no time better spent than with your son fishing. And I'm sure everyone that has done it before will agree. Now Buta Rademeyer has caught several good fish and you guys will see a lot of him going forward. Yeah, maybe I'll move a bit that side now that I can get shallow with it. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's gone quiet, eh? Mm. Oh. Okay, so we've got a fish on, but he is stuck proper uh, through the kelp and the back of those rocks. So we're just going to try and walk him up. Maybe the sink line breaks. Yeah, uh, so yeah, let's see. Okay, so just walk past there. Eh? Come to up. Guys, yeah, so that's our, our session at Bakasa. Uh, no, good fun with the lighty today. Uh, yeah, I didn't get uh, any Khalil, but still, yeah, good fun out of them. Uh, I had a proper chance to uh, really test the, the mag seal, uh, the dio mag seal. I mean, we're fishing in the water most of the day, still smooth, and yeah, enjoyed the, the cast uh, on that Poseidon Edibles rod. Awesome, awesome rod. So, uh, three ounce sinkers as well, and uh, yeah, performed perfectly. So, yeah, stay tuned for our next uh, session.